Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in honor of National Lipstick Day, I figured I would finally get around to filming a video that I've actually been thinking about filming for a while and I just haven't done it yet, which is my top 10 favorite indie brand lipsticks. So I've basically compiled my top 10 favorite lip products from indie brands. Um, and then I do have three little honorable mentions that I'm gonna throw in there real quickly just cause I have them and I love them and I use them a lot. So. Before we get into the lip products, I do want to mention that this is just my top 10 that I've found so far. There are still so many other indie brands out there that I have yet to try, so I'm sure that I'm going to find some more favorites as I continue to try more. So if you have tried any that aren't on this list, leave me a comment below, let me know what to check out, and that way I know some new ones to go check out because you guys know I'm always on the hunt for great indie products. So. I'm gonna basically go through these, tell you just a little bit about them. I'm not gonna go into a lot of crazy detail. I'll just give you the basics as far as like how much the product might cost and I'll tell you why I like it so much and I'll show you a swatch of it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. These are by no means in an actual top 10 order. I'm kind of starting with the non-liquid lip products and then as far as the liquid lipsticks go, I'm gonna go from like lightest to darkest, just, you know, for the ease of removal. But yeah, these are just basically 10 of my favorites. Let's go with that. Okay, so diving right in, the first product I have is from Breja Cosmetics. This is one of their organic cream wand lipsticks. They have multiple different types of formulas. They have stick lipsticks, they have liquid lipsticks, but this is by far my favorite. It is just such a soft, creamy, lightweight formula. It feels so smooth on the lips. It kind of has this little minty, not overpowering, but just a very subtle kind of minty, like, taste, I guess, like when you inhale, like you know how you can taste a lipstick. And it has an applicator, just like a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss, um, and it's just kind of like a squeezy tube, which I love. It fits great in the purse. This shade that I'm wearing is one of my favorites, and it's the shade Vicious Trollop, and I love it just because it's a very, very beautiful, neutral, pinky mauve tone. So this is just a lipstick, or kind of like a glossy lipstick, so obviously it's going to have that type of wear time, but because it's such a nice, soft color, it wears off really nicely. So this is Vicious Trollop by Brisha Cosmetics. All right, next up is a lipstick from Besame. So this is actually a new lipstick. I just purchased this and it's actually a new release from them. This is their new sheer lipstick formula and the shade that I'm wearing is Chocolate Kiss. They do have it in their full on, um, full body lipstick formula, but I just love the sheared out look. Now the way that you apply their lipsticks, if you want the better longevity, is to apply it and blot and then apply it again and blot. And I do feel like it kind of really does help with the longevity. And I like the way it kind of shears it out a bit more when you do it with this lipstick. Because when you put it on, it's a bit more opaque. I'll show you on the back of my hand. Um, but yeah, like that's, that's how it looks on the back of my hand. I love their formula. Um, this 102 Sweet Dreams that they released with the Agent Carter collection is another favorite. And that is like a true gorgeous like matte lipstick of course if you blot it it gets more of that matte shade and i love the lipsticks they released with the snow white collection but this sheer lipstick i mean is definitely more my speed for an everyday wear which is why i picked it up and i absolutely love this color it is so beautiful this is chocolate kiss in the sheer lipstick formula from besame Okay, so from here on out, we are in liquid lipstick territory. So this first one that I have on is from Notoriously Morbid. This shade, I don't believe you can buy individually. Um, they do like a monthly subscription where you get a liquid lipstick or a lip product, like two lip products basically. Usually it's a liquid lipstick and then something else like a lip balm or a lip scrub. And this is one of the colors that came in. This was from February. Let's see if I can say this is Fuku Ryu. I believe is the name. This formula is a lot thinner than any other liquid lipstick formula that I've ever tried, um, which can be a little tricky to work with, but it makes it feel incredibly lightweight on the lips. I will say the downside to that is it does wear off quickly um, on the inner portion of the mouth, so this isn't the most long lasting, but the reason that I wanted to make sure I added it in here is because they have such unique colors. Notoriously Morbid definitely has some amazing color range of like fun colors. Even this, I absolutely love. It's this gorgeous, kind of golden orange, it's just beautiful. Um, but I have some purples, I have some blues, I have some kind of more gray toned lip products, a really interesting brown color. So I think it's definitely fun if you like something that's not just your traditional nudes, pinks, and reds. I mean, a lot of these companies are starting to include some more like fun shades, um, but Notoriously Morbid is definitely all about those. So I think they are worth kind of trying out if you like a thinner formula. And I do also really like their lip balms. I have one from them that's just a plain clear lip balm, but I put it on every night before bed. So this is Fuku Ryu from Notoriously Morbid. Moving right along, we have Makeup Monsters Cosmetics. So I just reviewed their eyeshadow palette and I mentioned their lip products. So this is one of my favorite colors from them as far as 
a perfect like everyday neutral for me. This is the shade Sedona. So I do have a bunch of other shades and I probably could have shown you something that's a little bit less neutral, but a lot of the ones I have were like limited edition or they're not sold anymore. So I didn't want to show you guys those. I do know that they still sell Sedona. I think it's one of their best sellers. Um, and I just love it because it's a beautiful neutral kind of pinky mauve shade. I love this formula. It's very comfortable to put on. It's very comfortable to wear. I do feel like Makeup Monsters lip products last a good long while during the day. I have worn them to work many times. Um, I find that any liquid lipstick really struggles to live up to me eating lunch. <laughs> if it's any kind of like salad, pasta, soup, sandwich, anything like that. Um, so I don't usually... I don't usually judge a lipstick by how well it lasts through my lunch. For me, it's more how well does it last through my day with me drinking coffee or sipping on my water or whatever that is. And these lip products from Makeup Monsters definitely last that test for me. So these are a great, great option if you're looking for it. And they do have a lot of really fun colors too if you don't want just the typical uh, neutral. I do love the fact that they have a wide variety of different pink tones, red tones, nude tones, and then you can get into some really interesting grays, purples, blues, teals, things like that. So. Uh, this is definitely their older packaging. I know they have newer packaging now. I still think this is adorable. But yes, this is Sedona from Makeup Monsters. All right, so now we have Sugar Pill. Please forgive kind of the scratched off logo. This has lived in my purse for a while. This is the shade Trinket, which is the first liquid lip I ever bought from Sugar Pill, and I instantly fell in love. Um, this is actually one of the formulas where it's a beautiful neutral base, and then as you press your lips together or if you rub them with your fingers, it activates gorgeous glittery sparkles. So this is just a beautiful kind of pinky nude shade, and then it has the beautiful gold sparkles in it. I'm hoping you can see that. Hopefully you'll see it in the close-up, but I did make sure to activate them. And they did actually just release three more shades that are like this with the glitter in them, so I need to pick those up, but this is a tried and true. I love this color. It's so unique, and it just it kind of brings a little something extra to your look. So, oh, and the best part about these, I don't know if they all smell this way, but this particular one smells like orange creamsicle and it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> um, as far as lasting power for this lipstick, I do find that it lasts through me drinking my water. Um, I do find that sometimes it starts rubbing off a little bit if I drink a lot of coffee throughout the day, something with like a cup, but with a straw, I don't have any problems. And it's a very lightweight formula. You kind of forget you're wearing it. You don't actually notice any of that glitter. Like you don't feel that when you put your lips together. So this is definitely amazing. And they have so many more colors now in their liquid lipstick formula. And I actually need to go buy a bunch more. So this is Trinket from Sugar Pill. Okay, next indie brand is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I absolutely love his Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula. It is amazing. It's probably the one I own the most of as far as like one brand owning the most liquid lipstick products. I just love them. I, I tend to fall in love with the nude shades more. A lot of the other shades, like they look so beautiful on like the model or online and then I'm like, oh, I don't know how that'll look on me. I do own a few of the more like non-neutral tones like Sagittarius and Pumpkin Pie is probably one of my favorite shades. Um, this is actually a recent one that I purchased. This is Allegedly. I just picked this up recently and I love the kind of beautiful. It's like, it's like neutral, but it's still got a little something to it. It's just so pretty. Um, I do find that these definitely last all day long. I've even had some of them last through my, my lunches, depending on like what type of lunch that I had. Um, and again, it's another really lightweight formula. I don't really notice it when I'm wearing it and it's just really comfortable. It's one that's usually very opaque. It doesn't take more than one application and usually there's not like too crazy of a scent to it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the kind of root beer scent that some of the nudes have, but you know, once it's on and it dries, you don't notice it anymore. So, but I love this shade. Like I'm really happy I purchased this one. So this is allegedly from Jeffree Star. Oh, okay. My applications are definitely starting to suffer. I feel like my lips are on fire and there is a ton of powder covering up how red they are. <laughs> All right, so this is Solo Look. This is the shade Lisa. It's from their Saved by the Bell collection. I fell in love with all of these colors. I think Jessie is probably my favorite. That's the brown toned one, but I just wore it in my Grease video. So I wanted to show you guys one of the other colors that I love so much. This one, I really like for the fall. So we're getting a little bit closer to fall. Um, this is just such a beautiful color. The formula is so thin, like it's just very light and thin when you're putting it on. It just glides on really smoothly. Once it's on, you don't really notice it. Um, this definitely does last a good while. This is kind of similar to the other one that I mentioned where if I'm drinking a lot of coffee, like with my full lip pressed up against a glass, I do know that it kind of starts to come off a little bit. 
on the inner portion of the lip. But other than that, like just drinking out of a straw, I have no problems. And lunch, again, just depends on what I'm eating. But I do feel like it's a good formula that lasts a while. And it's just beautiful colors. And I know that they do still sell these, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I mentioned them because I really do enjoy it. I don't know if they're gonna come out with other lip products in the future, but I'm sure that they will. I know the Save by the Bell collection wasn't their first venture into lip products. It's just the first one that I tried, but they definitely sold me on it. I love it. And I now love Solo Look as a brand. So this is Lisa from Solo Look. Okay, we're almost at the end. So this is Black Moon Cosmetics. This is kind of a recent discovery for me. Um, I first made an order from Black Moon when they released their Orb of Light palette. And so I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of their liquid lipsticks as well because I'd kind of seen them on Instagram and I wanted to try them out and I just hadn't done it yet. So of course I picked up a couple of nudes, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys a non-nude color. So this is Harvest. It was kind of um, a special release they did around Thanksgiving time last year but I believe they've made Harvest a permanent one because I just bought it a couple months ago anyways. Um, they did have two other colors that I think they made those more limited edition. I don't think they kept those permanently, but I believe Harvest is permanent. I love, love, love this color. Again, I mean, it's probably a really gorgeous nude to wear during fall, but I don't care. I wanted to show you guys. I think this color is so beautiful. I think it's just very flattering. Their formula is a little bit thicker than some of the other ones, but I don't feel like it makes it more difficult to work with. Um, I do have a slight complaint about the applicator itself. The applicator is just this kind of rounded tip, flat applicator. I like the flat part. I feel like it really covers your lips quickly, but when it comes to the detailing around the edge of my mouth, I just felt like it's a little trickier to work with. I just have to be a little bit careful about how I do it. It's not the end of the world, but that's just, you know, if we're talking about good and bad things, that's the only negative thing I really would say about it. So. Let me take this one off and then we will be on the last one and my lips will thank me for being done. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. This isn't the last one. This is number nine. Number 10 had just kind of rolled further on my desk to where I didn't see it anymore. So we're almost there. So this is Sorcerer from Storybook Cosmetics. They are definitely one of my favorite indie brands for many reasons. The products they come out with are so amazing, but they touch me right in my nerdy heart and I love it. Obviously the thing that first caught my attention was their first product, which was the wands, the Harry Potter style wizard wands. They actually had like the legit Harry Potter wands at first um, and I got that set. And then they released kind of their own take on it with different designed wands and I have those too. <laughs> and then came the wizardry and witchcraft eyeshadow palette that looked like a book and I fell in love with it. And then more recently they released a set of liquid lipstick that matched those shades from the book, at least four of them. And this is one of them. This is the shade Sorcerer. I love this red. It's a gorgeous, like subtly metallic red. It's not like the in your face kind that you feel sometimes uncomfortable wearing. This is definitely one of the more unique reds that I own. It kind of almost has like a little bit of like a pink shimmer in it. I don't know. I can't quite tell. I'm like, I'm looking at the mirror and I can't really quite place it, but it's beautiful. That's why I wanted to make sure I showed this one to you guys. Cause I know you guys have seen a lot of the other ones in some of my other looks that I've done and when I swatched them, but this, I just feel like is a really unique red. Um, I don't think they started selling them individually yet, but I do believe they're going to. The set itself is beautiful, but it does come with like a blue and a green. And I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but if they ever do sell Sorcerer by itself, I definitely recommend picking it up. Um, again, with the liquid lipstick formula, Storybook Cosmetics has a really good one. Once it dries down, you really don't notice it. It really does have some serious lasting power. Um, and I don't really notice it coming off around the inner part of my mouth. So I do think the storybook formula is one of the really good ones. So you can't really beat it. I think the only downside is that you can only buy four of them individually right now. And then this one you have to buy in a set. But this is my favorite. If you have a chance to pick it up, this is Sorcerer from Storybook Cosmetics. All right, so we are now at our final product. This is Cranberry Stiletto from Beauty Bakery. So there's a reason I left this one to the last one and the reason I decided to go with kind of like the darker vampire color instead of the nude, which, you know, I kind of wanted to grab. Um, this is one of the most long lasting formulas I've ever tried. It kind of makes me a little bit more hesitant to wear it because it is a little bit finicky when you're putting it on, especially such a dark color like this, you don't want to mess up because it's like, it stays. Um, there's also a couple of little tricky things to putting it on. They really recommend that if you're gonna do two layers, you let the first layer dry completely first. It's also recommended that you let it completely dry down, like give it a minute or two before you kind of press your lips together. That also helps with it. But if you give it that time that it needs to fully dry down, it will be completely weightless feeling and it's amazing. These will last through some serious food eating. <laughs> I mean, I was surprised the first time I ate like lunch or dinner. I think I had this, I think I wore this to like a dinner 
and it stayed and I was amazed. I mean, it really is one of the best formulas I've ever tried from a liquid lipstick. I feel like Beauty Bakery is the go-to brand if you're wanting to get like a darker, more vampy tone or like a red tone and you're wanting to wear it to a party or you're just, you know, you don't want the lipstick to bleed like regular lip products do or come off in the center. I feel like this is the way to go because your lipstick is going to stay in place and you're not gonna have to worry about it moving. So yeah, Cranberry Stiletto from Beauty Bakery. Okay, so before we close out the video, I wanna show you the three honorable mention products that I have, and these are basically lip glosses or lip balms, something that is very sheer, not a lot of color, but it's great for just tossing in your purse for everyday wear, and these are three that I've really fallen in love with. First, we have Butterbeer from Shiro Cosmetics, then Hello Sweetie from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and Amortentia from Epically Epic Soaps. All right guys, that's all I have for this little indie brand focused video. Don't forget to leave me a comment below if there's a brand that you know of that you like their products that I didn't mention here so that I can go check them out. And if you wanna see other videos like this, top tens, or if you wanna see like an all encompassing brand video, not just indie focused, let me know and I will film something like that. But otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and thank you guys for watching. Bye.